Welcome to Project Bearded. I'm Brian. We are wrapping up week 26 of my year, concluding the first six months of this journey. That's right. You heard correctly. We are halfway through my year. For this video, we're going to do something a little bit special, and we're going to take a look back of the journey thus far. But before we do, I would like to ask a small favor, and that's for you guys to give this video a thumbs up by smashing that like button below. And if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Those two small gestures don't cost you anything, but they would mean the world to me as they will help this channel grow so we can reach more like-minded individuals and maybe even inspire some future Beardsmen. So once you've liked and subscribed, we'll be able to take a look back enjoy the journey thus far and get into today's bearded content today is day one of my year or back into the uh, alcohol so if we take a look at my beard you can definitely see those are the reasons why i take both biotin and collagen in this video a thumbs up when you click the like button below. They say this is unscented. I'm filming today's video from Mohegan Sun in Uncasville, Connecticut. Currently, I've been testing this bar right here from Johnny Ray, and I've got to admit, so far I am impressed. This is the week where I started using beard conditioner. First things first, let's do something we haven't done in a while, and let's take a look at the progress of my beard. And the truth is, depending on how sick you are, you might not be able to do anything specifically for your beard health. It should have a medium-ish hole to it, which will allow you to help form a handlebar mustache. No, your eyes do not deceive you. I did shave my head recently. The truth is, you cannot trim your way to a big beard. So if your goal is to grow out your beard, you've got to let it grow. All right, first off, it's going to be their beard oil, and that is this guy right here. I put it in my palm and I just give it a little bit of rub, it melts down right away. Depending on your beard's length and thickness is gonna depend on what you use for a comb. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the handlebar mustache. So, what can be challenging about just letting your facial hair grow? I decided to go with this guy right here, the Aberlite Pro Beard Straightener. To restate the question, when do you guys brush your teeth. I do prefer Chicago combs myself. I find that the teeth on Chicago combs are a little bit longer, which allow you to penetrate through the beard. At the very least, every day after you shower, you should be using a good quality beard oil in your beard. Not only did I not have a backup to the beard wash I'm currently using, but I didn't have a backup wash at all. Thankfully, I realized this before I actually ran out of the wash I was using. Make sure you guys are sitting down from what I'm about to say, because it is just a little bit controversial. And that is our beards are not the center of our universe. And it is a daily wash. This right here, I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like with washes, I've been very lucky. And here we are back at week 26, putting the first six months of this year in the books. I'm excited to see what the next six months has to bring, and I trust you guys are too. I also want to thank you for watching this video to the end. That tells me that you did in fact enjoy today's bearded content. So do me a favor and double check to make sure you did smash that like button below so this video can get a thumbs up from you. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of my videos. Then leave me a comment share this video with your friends, and while you're at it, why don't you head on over to Instagram and follow me there at Project Bearded. A link will be in the description. Once again, I'm Brian, this is Project Bearded, and I will see you guys in the next video.